Jesper. Welcome to BBC News at 9. Dog attacks in the UK have doubled during the last decade. There have been numerous incidents during the past week, including the death of Alexa, four-year-old Alexa Bernstein, who was brutally attacked in her home by the pitbull mustard, who has only been part of her family for two months. The dog came from the rescue centre. This is Kerry Hudson, Alexa's grandmother said. It's been a tragedy in the family. Lexi was a bubbly, bright little girl. She fought for her life from the moment she was born as she was three months premature. She's been taken from us so tragically. She'll be sadly missed. She'll be our shining star in the sky and she'll never be forgotten. Alicia is here now with us to talk about the incident. So Alicia, do you know anything about this? Yes, as Mario said, the people must have come from a rescue centre. So the question here is, is this rescue centre doing, doing a good job and why are they letting aggressive dogs back into family households? Although it's not abuse from its previous owner, Lexi's mother had said in the interview that the dog had a very soft nature and that her daughter was always playing with him. When the mother walked into the bedroom last Tuesday, she found the dog brutally attacking the little girl. It was completely out of control. In the end, Lexi's mother had to use a knife to separate the dog from her child. What else do you know about this dog? Is it one of the breeds that has been labelled most aggressive? The police are still investigating more about Lexi's death. Her tests are also being done on the dog to see if it's one of the dogs that has been labelled under the Dangerous Dogs Act. And this isn't the only dog attack that has taken place in these past weeks. Chloe Willoughby was also attacked by two Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Do you know anything about this attack? Yes. 17 year old Chloe was walking her dog when she saw two other dogs looking at hers. The next thing you know, the dogs ran up to her and started to attack her and bite her. Chloe was lucky to have survived after one of her neighbours saved her by hitting the dogs with a mop to stop them. Yes, Chloe was, Chloe was very lucky to have survived. Dog attacks have also increased in the past years. Statistics show that the number of dog attacks has increased by 50% in the past decade. That's over 100 dog attacks every week. It's just crazy. The most dangerous breeds of dogs are pit bulls and rottweilers, and out of 6,000 dog breeds, 33 are labelled aggressive. Thank you very much for joining us this evening, Alicia. That's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.
So I think this is going to make some people very vulnerable to the cold in the winter as they'll fail to use their heating when they should. Do you think all of this is going to lead to rebelling and protesting and how do you think it will affect the economy? Well, as actually all the major gas suppliers have all raised the prices this year, some more than others, I think this is going to lead to a general feeling of unhappiness with um, the government and the energy companies which may lead to people um, actually switching to some of the cheaper companies so all the major companies lose out. Or it may lead to people, as I said, um, actually rebelling outside a, a parliament and, and actually um, having a more major rebellion um, in, in the streets of London. Okay, thank you. And then we're back to Nick and Israel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. As also said, that most households will save more money if they switched to other firms, given the fact that other companies don't raise their prices too. 